guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today to be in front of the camera filming a Diptyque video. I went through my videos and I haven't filmed or uploaded a Diptyque video in almost five years, which is crazy to me that it's really been that long. But I think something that sets me apart from a lot of people is I love my luxury candles. I love my luxury candles. And I also love my everyday candles. And I love, like, I go to TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I don't necessarily buy a lot of candles from there. I just don't think the quality is that great. But it's really cool to see inspiration and what other brands are doing. But I also love, obviously, like my vendor wax and my homemade candles. So I don't discriminate when it comes to fragrances or wax. But I will say, there is something about the quality of a luxury candle that is so different than a traditional Bath & Body Works Yankee candle. I'll say that. And let me tell you, there's some good candles from them, don't get me wrong, but the fragrance level, the fragrance load, I will say a Diptyque candle, which they come beautifully boxed. You open it up, the presentation is obviously gorgeous. You get a little booklet all about the history of Diptyque. And if you don't know, Diptyque was started in France in 1961 by three friends who owned a textile company and they wanted to create fragrances that went with these really exotic textiles and pillows and throws and art pieces. And Diptyque was born and is now known as one of the most luxurious, well-known French candle brands in the world. And since I've been buying Diptyque, they literally are the best candles. These candles are pricey. They are $70 for a 6.5 ounce candle, but there is nothing like burning a Diptyque candle, I will tell you. And I go through phases where I burn them all the time. And then I'll go through a phase where I don't burn them for a couple months because I savor them. They're great for you know special occasions but let me tell you what sets a diptyque candle apart from a lot of other brands but especially like in the luxury world one candle which is not very big it will fill up your entire space and that i promise you if they don't you can come and throw these at me because every diptyque candle i've ever had for one, they're always perfectly centered. The burns are always flawless. They work so hard at perfecting the candle formula that there's nothing there's nothing like them. And the wax is heated to like some crazy number, really high heat, so that way when they do pour the fragrances, they are always, there's no sludge on the sides. They burn perfectly. It is a paraffin blend candle. But besides that, the fragrances, are just stunning. They're out of this world. And I picked five of my favorite candles for this time of year. And let me tell you, I've had these in my collection for a little while and I've burned I've burned all of these. These are all fresh ones because I wanted to have fresh ones for this season, but after I smell a Diptyque, I'm like, why do I even buy from other brands? And what I will say is, you will not find Salty Sea Air, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Cupcakes, Zucchini Bread. You won't find any fragrances like that with Diptyque. They're definitely a lot more luxurious. And not that a Zucchini Bread isn't luxurious, because let me tell you, I get down with a strawberry zucchini bread scent in my home, but there's something about when you light a dip tea candle. I actually have um, one of their spring fragrances, um, lychee, burning in my bedroom now, and when you go in there, it just, it, there's nothing like a luxury candle fragrance in the air. But anyway, I picked my five favorites for the fall season. Not your traditional fall fragrances, that's for sure, but they are sure to be cozy and warm in your house. And this is not sponsored. I paid the $70 for each one of these fragrances. Two of them actually were a little bit more than that because they're special editions. But without further ado, let's get into it. First and foremost, now this is not necessarily like the Diptyque sells their fragrances all year. They don't have classifications for fall and winter. They do do like a holiday collection every year. It's like three fragrances, but bang. 
Bay is their number one seller. It's spelled B-A-I-E-S, which means berries in French. Now this is their Black Friday 2021 edition. So they all will look like a standard candle now, but this is just a limited edition packaging. Now, Bay is their number one fragrance, and I burn it year-round. It doesn't have to be fall just to burn this fragrance. I, I burn all of these all year long, but especially in the fall time. Bay is a tangy coolness of freshly picked blackberry, no, black currant berries. A few black bunches still have their leaves. Their green and aromatic scent blending lively with flowery accents of rose. So we have Bulgarian rose, black currant, and green leaves. So again, don't be put off by rose as a floral. The scent is beautiful. You have that tangy, a little bit tart, makes your mouth water black currant note. You have the green leaves, very aromatic and fresh, like truly after a rainstorm. You have the green leaves that are just so vibrant and bright. And then you have the fresh, I don't want to say powdery rose, because it's not like a, like a powdery old lady rose by any means. It's a very fresh picked rose. It is beautiful. This is their number one seller. They have it in car, body, personal fragrance. It's number one for a reason. And when you burn this, you can just smell paradise. It's so pretty, so sophisticated, gorgeous. I will burn a bay candle all the time. I'm never going to discriminate against the season. I love it. It's beautiful. So that is bay. Number two is benzoin. Now benzoin, this, I will say, if you are a bakery lover, I think benzoin might be the answer for you. I have gone through so many of these over the years, and it is the capture, the captivating scent of benzoin as its sap is gathered from the tree. Dry notes of bark and the warm caramelized scent of the resin, renowned since antiquity across Asia and the Orient. This is cozy and comforting. It smells like a cashmere blanket, cozied up on the couch. Now when it says like caramelized scents, it's a very like smoked vanilla amber is almost how I describe it to people who haven't smelled it before. It's like a smoked vanilla amber. The body fragrance of this, it's called Benzoin Bohème, or Bohème, something like that. It's beautiful. I owned it before, but I finished the bottle. This is stunning. It's it's totally different vibe than Bay, but it's captured perfectly. Like I said, warm, caramelized, delicious, just the right amount of sweet, but a lot of smoky and a lot of like tree bark in the end. Oh, stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll always buy Benzoin and it's perfect again for the fall. All right, next, Chen. This I discovered, ooh, probably, I was in high school still whenever I first got Chen. One of my friends who worked at the Diptyque in Beverly Hills was telling me, you have to try Chen. Chen is oak tree in French, and Chen says, the dense, comforting fragrance of a great oak tree from which were hooed by the holes the halls of galleys, heavy furniture, and solid beams that span the centuries. Feel the power of their trunks and the scent of the bark's tannin with its dry, resinous accent. This smells like the best wooden furniture. And yes, again, pretty crazy, like not your traditional fragrances, that's for sure, but when you have guests over, you like redid your dining room or your living room, and you want it to smell really fancy, like you freshly polished the furniture. No, this doesn't smell like a lemon or like a pledge at all. It just smells like you went to the highest end, like our house, and got a, um, got a wooden table, and it was just perfectly carved, polished, ready to go with a live edge. That's what this smells like. It is so woodsy and warm and always for company. I always like to burn this when company comes over and they always say, wow, your house smells so good. 
I kind of get like a cedarwood chips note in the end, like that just really, really rustic smoked woods. Just so pretty. I, some people say this smells like walking into a Home Depot, like in the wood section. I can see that, but it's definitely a lot more sophisticated than Home Depot. It's beautiful. I, I always, always will purchase that one. Now, the next one, and then we only have one more, which is a limited edition you can't always get. But, this one, it's gray. It's Fudawa. I feel like this is in their top three fragrances, especially for the fall and winter time. It says, winter time, in the hearth, a fire roars, throwing out its light and casting shadows. The wood crackles as flames slowly consume the logs, releasing their dense, smoky scent. This is smoky, and this is sophisticated. It's very much, I picture a white fireplace with big, big logs of wood. I mean, I don't know if there's like a specific type of wood that I smell, but, and it's lit on fire and the crackle, you hear the sound of the roaring fire. It's snowing outside. And I know I say, I love this for the fall. I do because it's getting cooler outside the Christmas of the winter or the fall air. You just want to feel warm in your house. And I feel like when you like this, your house automatically feels a little bit warmer. I've gone through different sizes, like bigger sizes of this, the smaller size. I had this in an air freshener for my car in the winter time. It's beautiful. If you love the smoky, like you cannot get enough of smokiness, warm, rich scents, Faux de Bois is for you. Oh, I love. We'll always buy this one. This is definitely masculine. I feel like if you were buying a candle for a guy friend and you weren't really sure what to get him, if he's like expensive, likes like fancy candles, Faux de Bois is for him because it is, it's like that smoky, warm fire scent. And then last but not least is a city exclusive. So in the Diptyque world where they have boutiques, which New York, uh, Miami, Beverly Hills, Shanghai, Tokyo, London, they each have their own city exclusive fragrance that you can only purchase in that city. However, they do one time a year offer all the city exclusives on their website and you can buy them for a short amount of time. They typically sell out within the day, sometimes two days, but they sell out very fast. This year, or like next year when they do it, I'm gonna get all of them because I just love having them in my collection and I've burned through all the city exclusives before. But I'm a New York guy. I love New York City. I have a New York City tattoo. New York's on my wall. I, I love New York City. And the New York City exclusive candle it doesn't smell like trash. It doesn't smell like homeless. It doesn't smell like dirt. It says, an intoxicating blend of cedarwood, vetiver, patchouli, and incense will give your space the ambiance of a New York City speakeasy every time you light this candle. Absolutely. You picture the warmth and the richness of a speakeasy like cedarwood, vetiver, patchouli and incense. So if you sit there and you think about all those notes, they all are very deep. They're all very warm. They're all very smoky. Now, where Faux de Bois smells more like the true like wood fire, New York smells like the wood, but fresh in a cologne. Like this smells like you walk into a speakeasy and the guy was wearing this fragrance. It's, he's in a suit and tie, very sophisticated, maybe he's lighting a cigar, has Gucci earring, he's just very, very fancy. And this is that in a fragrance. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I love Diptyque. I know they are very expensive and some people would never spend $70 on a candle and that's okay. I want my content on my channel to be for everybody at all different levels. and. If you ever want to really treat yourself to something special over the holiday or just 
because I definitely think a Diptyque candle purchase is for you. Definitely give them a try. Again, not sponsored. I pay for these all with my own money. I love Diptyque. I wear their fragrances. I don't buy the shower gels and like the soaps and stuff just because it is very expensive. I am intrigued by their exfoliating hand soap. I haven't tried that yet, but they did expand into like cleaning products for the home as well as like hand soaps. And there's like a, a gentle gel one and then there's an exfoliating one. Definitely on my list to try. But let me know, have you tried Diptyque? Or are you interested in trying Diptyque? Take a look on their website, let's chat. I love talking about luxury candles and there will be a lot more of that content on this channel, which I'm really excited about. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. You matter, and I love you all so much. Bye, guys.